Programmers do kung fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning Okay, other test case concerning the rule of uh, discount for two books is three books one duplicated receive um, five percent discount on two books and the third one should be priced eight euros so if we say we have this first, first, third, third, and then we say assert the price. It should be 1,520 plus 800 should be 2,320, 2, right? 2,320. Execute that. This test breaks. Okay, because currently we get the discount for all the three books and not for two books only. Um, makes sense. How to go about that? Actually, I think in this case, I want to apply this rule here. So this this discount rule that I've written in this line um, to two books, if I find the two books, and then look at the remainder of the books, so at the books I did not um, include in my total yet, see if there's another pair and then reapply the rule. So I somehow need to loop over this. Um, the thing is that it's a little difficult. I mean, I can go over the number of distinct books and that tells me um, there's because the number of distinct books is two, I know there's a, the pair in there, I can give a discount for. But since I don't know um, which concrete books that is, I cannot like take them out of consideration. So what I would like to do is change my data structure so that I have a map from books to the count, so the number of times I have the book included, and then I can just uh, decrement the count after I, uh, I think I can decrement the count of all books in here because it's it's two books anyways. Uh, so I decrement the count of both. And if there's still two books then in there, I can reapply the rule to the other um, two books, right? Okay, this requires me to change the data structure first, which means I want to have a map, private map from Potter book to integer. So from books to count. Uh, I'm going to name that books two, so it's going to conflict, but I'll resolve that in a second. Java util hash map is what I want to create here. So that's my new data structure and I'm going to delete the old one. Um, which means that now this down here gets a little more complicated because um, I have an amount which I default to zero. If books contains at least one of uh, one one issue of the book. Um, I'm going to set amount to the value of that. So books get book should be the number of occurrences. And then I set books put book to amount plus one. Right, so if the book was not present before, I add it with a value of zero plus one, which is one, and otherwise I increment the count by one. Good, so I have a problem here. Get number of distinct books is now not computable like this. 
instead this is going to be books dot uh, get keys no key set key set is the thing called why is that not working because I have the wrong type here this is set not a hash set okay so this should give me the number of distinct books and actually now I'm going to quickly inline that uh, because this is short enough to be uh, comprehensible. Okay, let's think about the number of books that's actually not working anymore, right? Because I'm counting the number of entries now, uh, which is only the number of distinct books and which is actually right. It's a number of distinct books so I can even do it like that. Um, okay, so what I want to do is sum up the elements, which means I go over the values and then use cool Java 8 streams to actually reduce this list of integers here to the sum of them. Um, this is essentially a fold. So we have zero as the the base value because we want to do uh, we want to add the values up and then I need to add a lambda here which is I, I, I comma j maps to i plus j. So this should add up all the values and the values is the number of books. So number of books is right. Uh, number of distinct books is right so we should be at the same point yes only one test failing the same test failed before so our refactoring here restructuring changing the data structure was successful and now i want to actually reapply that rule this means i have to keep track of the books i already um, accounted for in my total and the books I did not account for yet. Which means I need to make a copy of my books here for processing um, so that I don't change my actual order. So I want to create a new Java util hash map from books. And I want to sign that here and say remaining books and now I want to move all the computations this didn't change anything uh, I want to move all the computations to the remaining books thing here so get number of books should be mapped to remaining books which actually mean that's the books you're get the number yes I have a name collision here with the field that's okay that's by intention and I want to do the same thing here, remaining books. Um, change method, add argument like this and say books, even though I have a conflict now here too. Books, books, that's working on the remaining books now. Nothing down here is working on the remaining books, so I should still be at the same point, right? Didn't change anything. And now I actually want to repeat this rule whenever I, um, for as long as I have any remaining books to do the, and, and I want to, to add up the total. So I somehow need to introduce total as a, as a value here as a variable so that I can uh, assigned to it say total equals this then I move the default value up here to pre-compute it or actually uh, return total here and say else total equals this this should work right yeah still the same test case failing and um, as I said, I actually want to add this here because I want to give it multiple runs. So I 
change it to this, which should change nothing because I have only one run add to zero is the same as reassigning. 